Hey, did you guys hear that? Is that, is that an insect? Is that a mosquito? Oh, wait, it's a robot. How oh, cool. <laughs> you don't have to shoot down a drone. Just swat an insect on your arm and, and maybe it's a machine. You never know. <laughs> I found this uh, uh, picture uh, on, on my news feed today and uh, I, I chased the rabbit. You know, I've already chased some of these rabbits before revolving around uh, drones like this one here, the... Uh, these ones flying in formation. It's very cool. <laughs> um, you can imagine what would happen if there was thousands of these. Right? So let, let's move forward here. Uh, I'm going to take you over to Daily Tech. Now the article here uh, starts, Mini Insect Robocops, Engineers, Government Work on RC Insects. Now in the article it says, New York College students attending an anti-war rally in Lafayette Square last month were convinced they saw small flying machines that were definitely not insects hovering above. Straight out of my order report, huh? Let's scroll down into the meat and potatoes here. I wanted to point something out to you here. I thought this was kind of cool. All right, here it is right here. Check this out. The Hybrid Insect Microelectromechanical Systems hopes to allow researchers to grow insect nerves into silicone computer chip connections to allow the insects to be remote controlled like RC airplanes. DARPA researchers also are raising cyborg beetles. <laughs> I did a video uh, uh, on all this, some of the DARPA projects that's coming out of uh, the, I think it was Boston Dio, Dio, uh, Boston Dynamics, I believe that's what it was. Uh, let's keep tracing the rabbit here, let me show you something here, follow me over here. Well, the rabbit took us over here to Pinoco, the world's easiest making system. It's some type of blog. Anyway, if you look at the article here, the mass produced microbots. They have a picture of one there uh, next to a quarter. If you scroll down here, there's a video here. I want to play you a little bit of. BAE systems say dragon fly-sized spy insects will also be used by local law enforcement agencies to keep track of those entering federal buildings or even people inside their homes. BAE Systems has just signed a $19 million contract to develop the micro-spy bug bots for the United States. Amazing. For more than... Pretty mind-blowing, huh? Well, anyway, let's keep running here. That, um... That video came out of a, a website here, uh, matrixnewsnetwork.com, if, you, if you're interested in that. Uh, let's cruise back over to my website here, and if you are interested in more of the ways that the New World Order is trying to infect your life with infestations of microbots, just look up. They're called chemtrails, which they're uh, spraying nanoparticles on us in order to tag us for future observations. Anyway, that's going to be my video for tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.